Hey YouTube, this is Alexander and I'm back with the ROM review. Uh, this ROM is CM10.1 for the Nexus S. Okay, so with uh, before we get started, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and show you the uh, model number, which is Nexus S. This is the, uh, the GSM variant, if you haven't watched my previous videos. I only own a GSM. Um, the Android version is 4.2.1, and the uh, signage and mod version is January 3rd, 2013. Um, feels weird uh, referring to the year as 2013 now. I mean, uh, it's just so used to writing 2012. Um, anyway, uh, there's been a couple new additions and improvements. Everything seems to be pretty smooth, although I don't have a lot of widgets, as you can tell. And I don't have, well, hardly, I have hardly any apps installed. Um, that's because of the lack of use of this device as a daily driver. Um, uh, everything seems to be pretty pretty fine. See, uh, it's really smooth. I actually do prefer this over Raspbian Jelly. I know if you've watched my Raspbian Jelly uh, videos before, you would uh, have seen that I liked Raspbian Jelly more than CM because uh, of its fluidity and its light. Uh, I think I said something like uh, lightweightness if that's even a word, but um, CM10.1 has really Im improved over CM10 in my opinion for the Nexus S. Um, you also do have a nice little animation now, if you can see that, it kind of swipes in as if uh, it's kind of swiping in from close to you at an angle. Um, you can see the weather right here, it lets you see uh, the weather, the high and the low temperature, so that's kind of an addition to the stock weather widget. Um, we'll go into settings and we'll take a look at the launcher. You have these um, uh, pretty general um, additions to the ROM, auto-rotate, full screen mode. Um, we have the dock. We can change some stuff with the dock. Um, lock screen. This is pretty much the same as before. Uh, we can go into screen security, uh, change things there. Battery status, whether it shows this guy right here, if it's going to show um, the battery percentage whether it's always on or um, for you to see it only when it's charging, you can see right there, now it's on. Um, you have slider shortcuts, so you can access different things. I can go up and hit this and um, go ahead and change. And if I want to put an application, I can put in uh, downloads and quickly get to my downloads from there. Um, button actions, we can long press the home button or menu or or back button to access something um, might be good for something like Google now if you don't have it swipe up you can either add that and swipe up or long press a button um, in the sound we have a music effects for DSP manager and we have quiet hours so it's similar to the uh, I know I, I really hate making this reference but like the um, the iPhone 5s or the iOS 6 um, the do not disturb um, it's sort of like that. Uh, the Galaxy S3 also has that though, so um, you got some other options there. We go back, you can see the themes, which I have none, so it's just going to have the uh, stock theme that it comes with. System, you have a couple things here. You have a new uh, addition um, to the uh, status bar. Um, where is it? If we go into power menu, nope, um, quick settings panel. Um, you can choose which um, how on which side when you pull down from it'll uh, you'll be able to access the quick settings. So it's really similar. Let me get my tablet here. I have it close to me um, to the uh, tablet version where if you swipe from the left, you'll just get the status bar, and if you swipe from the right, you'll get your uh, quick set uh, quick toggles. Although in the tablet um, on stock Android, it is uh, those are actual shortcuts. Most of them are shortcuts. These are actual toggles. So. If I pull down from the right, I can toggle Wi-Fi off, toggle it on. Um, so that's a little different. Then you have you have all these different things that I haven't really gone through, but you can customize that right there, which um, if you want to pull it down from the right or the left. Um, tiles and layout, you can add a new tile, and they have a, a slew of options to choose from. We'll go back. In advanced, um, you have backlight uh, dimming. Uh, tuning so this has been here for a while you can see these buttons um, these buttons uh, will light light up and they'll dim after however many seconds you want to put it to 
uh, display color hack presets. I have it set to natural. This is the default. Uh, I like natural because it gives it a dark uh, tint and because this is an AMOLED display, the blacks are really deep and uh, you do get a nice blue uh, sort of hue uh, around the OS even when it is sort of darker like this. I know you can't see it on camera though. Um, about phone, you still have your CM updates for OTA updates. Uh, performance, a little caution there. Processor, you can overclock. Overclocking is available or it can go up to 1.4 gigahertz. 1.4 gigahertz, I do get random reboots. 1.2 seems to be fine with less reboots, um, although I always just run it at 1 because that's fine for me. Again, this isn't my daily driver. The camera, we'll take a look at the camera. Camera is pretty much the same as it, as it has been. You do have the touch to focus, which, like I've said before, takes forever, so I don't really even recommend using that um, unless you want to wait. Uh, you don't get Photosphere, which is what somebody in the uh, on my previous video uh, was asking about, so... What I'm going to do is go ahead and post the uh, a download link to the newer camera, which, which, which should work, so you can get Photosphere working on this guy. Um, so the link will be down in the description, so let me know if that works. And I will also be posting the proper G apps, because I believe in the last video, the G apps didn't work. Um, I had trouble with them myself. I don't know if any of you guys did, but I had trouble with them. So the link for the newer G apps will be down below for 4.2.1, so those should work. Um, and that will come with a Play Store and some other apps. That's pretty much it for this video since um, there's not much I, I can co I can cover. Um, it seems pretty stable for a daily use. I, I would recommend this. Um, just as I've always as I've always said before, they'll always make a backup of whatever ROM you're coming from, whether it be stock or a different ROM, maybe CM10 um, or Raspbian Jelly or uh, AOKP. Whatever other ROM you're running, make sure you do a backup and just install this via uh, Clockwork Mod. Thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe. There will be more of, of this, and there will also be uh, like a competitor video of uh, this running CM10.1 and my Nexus 4. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.